The Louisville Bats have a new, albeit familiar, addition to this year's coaching staff. Pat Kelly began the 2018 season as the skipper at Louisville, but left when he was promoted to the major league staff. Pat managed Double A Chattanooga last season, but will be on deck to lead the Bats into the new year. It's a pleasure to have Bat with us, have Pat with us this morning, along with Louisville Bats Executive Vice President Greg Galliott. Welcome. Thank you. You Thanks literally just got here. Yes. Good to Good see you. Good morning. Good, Good morning. Thanks for having us. You literally just arrived yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, and I leave tomorrow morning. And you and you leave tomorrow <laughs> morning, but you will be back. Greg, let's start with you because I know you are so excited to have Pat back on the staff. I am, and I would love to actually make it through a full year with him. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. The last time he was with us back in the 2018 season, Pat, I think we got through, what, 11 games, and then the Reds tabbed you on the shoulder and said it's time to come to Cincinnati. And I had talked to you all winter about how great Thunder over Louisville was here, and you're going to really enjoy watching that humongous fireworks show. And, well, you didn't even make it to that day. So <laughs> I'm hoping to at least have him here through Thunder this year. It is America's best fireworks show. So, What's Pat, your... what are you looking forward to the most this season? Oh, I think just getting back on the field. You know, you, you spend all winter at home and, you know, you're, you're bored after about two weeks. And, um, you know, I get to jump on a plane next week and fly to Arizona for spring training and put a uniform on and become a little kid again. Well, you are primarily, though, from Florida. Mm -hmm. And so all you've seen are these gray days. Our <laughs> meteorologist, Caitlin Fish, just said, get ready for snow. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for Kentucky weather? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, when I was here before, we got right before opening day, we got a little dusting of snow when I was here. So everything I remember about Louisville is gray skies. Okay, so <laughs> a little bit of a background. Where were you recently? Uh, last year I was in Chattanooga, mm -hmm. which is a double A team for the Reds, and uh, spent the whole year in the Southern League. And then obviously 18 was uh, split a little bit here and most of the time in Cincinnati. So doing a little bit of background research on you, I found um, that you are kind of involved in another sport, or at least were, <laughs> wrestling. So uh, explain that for our viewers because I, it was hysterical. I was reading an article about it and just kept laughing. Yeah, it kind of started, I, I always try to indoctrinate the younger players mm -hmm. in, into the history of baseball and the history of the Reds. And I was talking one day that Randy Poffo who was a, a pro wrestler, mm -hmm. the, the Macho Man, oh, yes. had played in the Reds organization as a, as a catcher and an outfielder. So, uh, I don't know, somehow it came up, somebody challenged me, and next thing I know, we were wrestling, and I, I pinned him, and, you know, I'm usually bigger than everybody else, so uh, it, it kind of became a, a tradition. You know, all the young guys would end up challenging me, and uh, uh, I went undefeated for a long time, but then I finally got beat a couple of years ago. Nick Sincel beat me in Pensacola, and... And I said, you know, I'm too old. You're retired. <laughs> well, you know what? Somebody always comes back. They so. always come back. And again, I mean, look at Cher again right. and again. Well, so Rick, Rick Flair keeps hanging around. So remains you never to be seen. <laughs> Greg, what can we expect? I mean, your your promotions that you provide to the public are always so We had a lot of about. fun last year. We had a 5% yes. increase in our attendance. Uh, even though we didn't play well, I think our fans had a great time at the ballpark. Uh, We've been busy in our laboratory all fall, all winter time, putting together some great promotions. I think the fans are are going to enjoy right from day one. So uh, we'll be releasing our promotional calendar in the next few days and be adding to it as we go through the season. But uh, more of the same, just a lot of great experiences coming at Louisville Slugger Field this summer. And people will have an opportunity today to mm -hmm. meet Pat mm -hmm. at noon. We've got a luncheon going on at the ballpark. Uh, we've got Pat there as our featured speaker, but also we've got several of our friends from Cincinnati Reds coming down, Buddy Bell. Uh, Ron Oster, Doug Flynn, Tom Browning, and uh, so we're looking forward to a great turnout. Actually, it's sold out, and um, we are. Is that a kind of a kickoff? We kind of view ourselves being here today as the first sign of spring. That's outstanding that it's sold out, so I'll make sure that people know that yeah. as I read this. But really quickly, Fast Five. We love getting to know new faces in Louisville. Favorite movie? Bull Durham. How do you spend your downtime? Playing golf. Best gift you've ever been given? Oh, my kids gave me a Christmas gift that had both my major league uniforms Aww. from the Toronto Blue Jays, home and away, framed, unbelievable. Aww. Favorite food? Chicken. What's your go-to tune? Don't stop believing. Oh, I love it. Love it. Well, welcome. Welcome to town. As, um, as we said, Greg, Pat Kelly will be officially introduced today at a noon press conference at Louisville Slugger Field in the Hall of Fame Pavilion. Tickets are sold out. 
so that is great news. Yeah, but yeah. you can keep up with the Louisville Bats and purchase tickets to the, see the schedule. I think it was something like 64 days, and I think we're into 19 hours and then some odd minutes <laughs> until first game opening. Opening night is the 11th of August. Against I mean, Columbus. August, April at Against uh, 6 o'clock, and then Thunder's the following weekend. Oh, so. exciting. You can catch up with them at batsbaseball.com or call 855-228-8497.